seconds. T minus 40 seconds. T minus 30 seconds. Minus twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> Women's Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. What is going on, you guys? Welcome to Women's Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. Of course, you know why you're here. We are here for the WrestleMania Backlash post show. I mean, if you missed the show tonight, I mean, it was it was very interesting. A lot of things happened, a lot of, you know... How I said, suggestions, ideas, theories, they all kind of, some of them kind of came true tonight. Um, a lot of unexpected things and a lot of things that we pretty much could have expected. Um, if you don't know, you're here with, of course, the most dominating tag team in history. This all shit is. I am the EIC of Women's Wrestling Talk, Dream Santana. And of course, my tag partner, Nikki, who is in another city, um, in another world. And, and we're here. <laughs> Because <laughs> it is awful. <laughs> we are here. Listen, listen, I am here, fresh off the heels of Under Siege and Mayday, the other half of the most dominating tag team. And, you know, I really want to say sports entertainment, but it was the, it was, team, the originals, the creators. Should we say more? I mean, let's just give it up. Um, give it up for the winning team. Give it up for them, for them, for them boys. I mean, shout out the, shout out the, um, you know, shout out to us because we told y'all we was gonna be here. We was here earlier, um, and and we really gonna get into it. Here for them, you know, first time I was a blonde, but I was like, nah, fuck you, I'm going back black hair. <laughs> it's it like I got, it's like I got a twin or something. Like change it is colors. really hey. it's not how I looked earlier. And you know what's a little different from tonight? How we normally do things is I normally lead. Yeah. However, my tag team partner will be leading uh, because we will be talking about, uh, you know, SmackDown. I I rarely talk about SmackDown. Uh, yeah, I mean, we got SmackDown and we got Raw. But it's a, it's we we we're definitely going to get into SmackDown, of course. There's some things that took place on the SmackDown brand. Um, yeah. That we definitely want to get into. We're going to say that towards the end of the show. Um, but I mean, like I said, it's WrestleMania backlash. Um, might as well go ahead and start with the men. I'm going to follow the follow what Nikki kind of does. Get the men out the way because honestly, the women. There's a lot of things that was going on with the women getting involved. A lot of broken kindos. We wanted tables but didn't get it. So that thing happened. But yeah. so we're just going to start off with, of course. Uh, the well, I want to say the beginning of the show is going to kind of go out of order, just kind of what I have here. So, of course, we had Happy Corbin versus Mad Cat Mox. Um, it was a really, really good match, seven match at that. It wasn't it honestly wasn't too bad? I know people try to consider it to be like a bathroom break or anything mm -hmm. of that nature. I didn't think it was that bad. Um, we really got to see, you know, Baron, I mean, Happy Corbin, you know, utilize his moveset the way that he does. Like, he he has an amazing moveset, he's a, he's a great talent, don't get me wrong. And then Mad Cat Mox, you get to see him, you know, and you get to see how they work together um, in this match. And unfortunately, well, um, Happy Corbin got rolled up into a runny Simpson powerbomb wow. in a pin, and Mad Cat came out with the win. Um, so, Nikki, I mean, your man's took the L tonight. Like, what is going on? What was what's tea? 
I say this all the time when it comes to my favorite <laughs> men in WWE. Mm -hmm. uh, they always spend their time having to put someone else over, mm -hmm. whether they win or lose the match. Uh, I say mm -hmm. that with Happy Corbin. I say that with Sami Zayn. I've mm -hmm. said that with Kevin Owens. Um, and that, that's just the way of the jungle. You know, sometimes when you're such as good as a wrestler, as mm -hmm. Happy Cor Corbin, you're not appreciated, mm -hmm. uh, you know, from the fans. Right. However, there must be something in the back uh, that people like about Happy Corbin. I honestly think the character change was great, mm -hmm. um, you know, because honestly, if we're being honest, he kind of switched. He went from the character that he had to a right. new character to the character that he has now. So it's kind of a switch up, and it's really nice to see. I personally don't know what's next for Madcap. Um, mm -hmm. But it is what it is. I mean, you can't win them all. <laughs> you know, Baron Corbin, um, I don't know if he's the only one that's, that's not, that's had a unsuccessful cash in. No, he's not. John Cena had an unsuccessful one. <laughs> but here's the thing. Baron yeah. Corbin had an unsuccessful hey, one. But, hey, no, John. but here's the thing. He I had. Know you be watching. Um, Lord, I see that on your name. I feel like you always do. Baron Corbin only had an unsuccessful one because of John Cena. Stopped him from winning it and everything. Okay. So, I do remember, like, I do, I do know that he had an unsuccessful one. Mm -hmm. And I know that for me, I feel like that's kind of, again. you know, that's hindered him. But he could win the Money in the Bank this year mm -hmm. and go on to cash in and laugh in everyone's face. I would honestly, and this is just me, um, mm -hmm. I would like to see him win and then cash in on the Intercontinental Champion. Mm, that's not really done before. I don't think nobody's ever cashed in on <laughs> mid card. And that way it can be successful. Uh, that's possible. Um, Joseph said it was just there. It did its job of settling the crowd down at the run and charge to the house down. Could have been a kickoff match. Well, they really didn't have too many matches anyway. So, was there anything on the kickoff? No. Wow. So, I mean, they didn't really have anything for them. They, mm, it, I mean, it could have. It really could have. But they didn't, the match card that they had for tonight was really, like, it wasn't a big match card. Yeah. Um, that's why the matches were a lot longer than expected or could have yeah. been over by then. But I mean, you know, it kind of is what it is. Uh, as we move on to uh, another match that happened tonight, um, of course, we had Bobby Lashley versus Omos, um, part two. And it was did a step Unfortunately, no, he did not. That's a um, he gave me a big boot. To Bobby? To Bobby, um, was I happy about that? No, because I, I feel like if your leg can go that high, then you can get on that top rope and do a phenomenal forearm. You can do a backflip. You can do a drop elbow, a drop kick. You can do something else. Don't be out here giving me no damn big boot, okay? Pick up you want to fit on the big boot? No, not feeling the big boot. By no means necessary. Um, but, um, you know, Bobby really, I want to say Omos, he's really been growing um, in the ring to me. I feel like <laughs> Omos is not a bad character, honestly. I know people try to, you know, feel like he may be like a sleeper or something. Um, or um, I just feel like Omos sells, like I said on Twitter, I feel like Omos sells like a GTA a pedestrian. Like if you hit them and they stumble. That's just, he just he 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 moves the exact same way, you know. For his size, he does move a lot slower mm -hmm. uh, than some of the taller talent that I've seen. That kind of moves a little faster, but he does run like he's in slow motion. Um, I don't know, but Bobby, this match was it was it was it was pretty decent, you know. Despite uh, MVP, of course, getting involved by hitting uh, Bobby Lashley in the eye with his cane. And he constantly keeps wearing and carrying as if he can't walk straight, um, which resulted in Omos picking up the win. And now him and Bobby are tied one and one. So, I mean, 
what is there to expect from this though, Nikki? I mean, does this is this the end of it? Obviously not, because we did see Bobby try to we did see Pop, Bobby put uh MVP in their hurt hurt lock. You know what I'm saying? So maybe 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 the next match we can have Bobby versus MVP. Put MVP as back in the ring since he won oh, the no. Oh hell no. Okay. What? Like my girl used to say on the girlfriend. <laughs> Um, absolutely not. Let me tell you something. This, we belong to Monday Night Raw just like they belong to Monday Night Raw too. Hey, girl, let me tell you something. They probably going to have another rematch tomorrow and we're going to be talking about the same shit tomorrow. <laughs> like, girl, they just going to run it back. They just going to run it back for Monday Night Raw for the three hours, baby, because I mean, what else are they going to do? If, they're, if they ones up, seven up, heads up, Baby, it's time to figure out who's going to be mean, Well, of course. I mean, but here's the thing, though. Like, Omos, the MVP, they can come out. They can talk about how, oh, Omos beat the almighty Bobby Lashley. Bobby That's Lashley come out and say, oh, well, MVP. I mean, like, you got yourself involved in this match. Per usual. You I mean, he did, the same. Involved. Mm -hmm. he did the same for Bobby. He did. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you're doing the same exact thing that you was doing for me for all my He's an old man. He need to sit down. Mm -hmm. And you talking about you want to see him in a match. He's an old man. He oh. needs to sit down. Put that man in a match with Bobby Lashley. Yeah. Oh, no. He, he, he yeah. wants to get... No, Nikki. He wants to get himself involved in matches. Then here we go. Get so in you need to find someone of his equivalent. Mm -hmm. Nope. So that way, that nope. way, Bobby can hang. So that way, they can confront, you know. Nope. Put bring, that Lana, bring Lana back and let Lana be <laughs> what get in the ring with MVP and you know control that situation. Yeah, absolutely not. Leave my leave let my tail come over and do what and be like the bodyguard for Bobby Lashley contest MVP. I'm Bobby just throwing Lashley. anything out there. Bobby Lashley Lashley is is right I'm throwing anything out there because they're giving me anything. Omos and, and Bobby Lashley, this is nothing. Like, what the hell are they doing? It's like hot potato, hot potato with the mm -hmm. middle. Like, it's like we seen this with Paul Heyman. Somebody mm -hmm. really just took the, the script and was like, you know what? This would actually work for MVP and Bobby Lashley. And mm -hmm. baby, it's dry as hell. Why is Bobby Lashley by himself? I don't like that. Well, who I, is he going to have in his corner, Nikki? Hello, Cedric and Shelton seem to can't. They always jumping on his ass every chance they get. So, I mean, I don't know. The other way around. First of all, no, 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 no. Because that time when Omos like, and Bobby Lashley were before WrestleMania, Shelton and Cedric came out there and attacked Bobby Lashley. So, and we thought that they were still together. That's we thought it was cool. Yeah, was, we did. And it's just like... Why do you keep utilizing these these two to come out the Bobby? Y'all had one of the the shortest factions created in your entire life that could have really really went. And that could have that. And it's not their fault. It's they not their fault. They could have been this. They this, really could have this match that we'll get we, to you know, later yeah, on. That, no, that, that could have happened, too. but it, it didn't because of course you know Vince loves to break break up you know the culture and all of those. You know, I mean, he likes to break it up, but he also likes to be a part. Um, so I mean, it's just like okay, all right. But I mean, I don't know. Like I like I said, I like Omos. I just I, if Omos can can do a nip up for me, just just do something athletic for me, then I'll be okay. But I don't think that's gonna happen for me. So you know what he can do for me? What go back to Nigeria? Leave. Wow. <laughs> Immediately, like it's just not doing it for me. I can't believe he even still around. I don't even know what the hell going on. And honestly, I don't. I like him better mm -hmm. that he's not with AJ. You know mm -hmm. that's cool. But him and MVP, I it's. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I felt like Bobby and like I mean I know it was because they when they brought Bobby back he was gonna of course they brought him into doing this baby face mode or whatever and mm -hmm. I thought maybe they could all be conjointed together Omos MVP and Bobby Lashley or, some, or something of that nature you know what I'm saying not saying I'm trying to stick all the the black people together but that's normally what happens when you end up to eat um, so I don't know like I feel as if like if the hurt business never got you know, this band or anything mm -hmm. of that nature. 
I feel like the Hurt Business could have been a top faction in WWE, especially holding it down on Monday Night Raw. Because there, there's not, there's, there really aren't any factions. Um, the only faction that we're about to get right now is what we're going to get into later with Edge. Um, that's literally the only faction that it is as of right now. And they're trying mm-hmm. to build another one, adding a loser, a part of somebody else's uh, conjunction. So we'll definitely get into that, too. But I mean, Child. I don't know. Ooh. We might, we might get there. I'm the loser. Well, hey, it is what it is. You're you're welcome to feel whatever you want to feel on this beautiful Sunday night. <laughs> well, and and it's, and it's a new day. Oh, for me, there's a new day for you because you know you 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 in the next day. I'm still yeah. in yesterday. <laughs> All right, as we move forward on to what I would have to say, probably considered to be match of the night. I mean, it was the opening of the show. Of course, we had Cody Rhodes versus Seth Freaking Rollins for the second time. I mean, of course, you know, this all started at WrestleMania 38 in Dallas, Texas. Um, And I mean, to have Cody come back and let Seth be his first opponent, even though they're they're not newbies to each other. I mean, they used to face each other back when Legacy and the Shield was going on. So, I mean... This is just a new era for both of them. And when I say that those two definitely, like, that was a way to open up the show with uh, Cody and Seth. I mean, there were so many uh, reversals happening. It was a lot of transitions happening. It was a lot of stealing other people's moves, like, or hmm, trying to steal other people's moves with Seth, trying to put... Uh, do the pedigree on Cody Rose and then Cody Rose reverse it and then try to pedigree Seth Rollins, you know, well, maybe doing a little shade of Triple H because everybody knows about Cody Rose and Triple H. If you don't know, you can do your own research on your own time. Um, but I honestly feel like this match is really good. It, it really was. Um, there was. There was so many like counters in this match that took place from various of different pins to Cody almost winning, but Self legs ended up being on the rope. Um, <laughs> it was just a lot that happened. Um, but Self tried to actually cheat to win this match, Viva Rolla, by holding on to Cody Rose tights and Cody Rose reversed it and basically did the same thing to him. But except it actually worked for Cody Rose, so he ended up being a winner, um, for tonight in their match. And I mean, Self couldn't believe it. You, you got you got played basically. You tried it and, and you got and it, it reversed back on you. So, Via roll up is wild. Viva roll up. <laughs> Via roll up is wild. It was giving Viva La Rosa. La Rosa. Viva. Oh, you, had right, you had it right the first time. Thank you. Yeah. I had... <laughs> <laughs> I personally don't. I honestly feel like. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hear me out. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. Kevin and Sami Zayn, right? Right. Seth and Cody. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel. I feel like they give me that feeling of I could watch them over and over mm-hmm. and over. Yeah. Again, honestly, I think that if this match goes to hell in a cell, I'm not going to be upset because they continue to build story. And the way that Cody Rose has now come to WWE, come back mm-hmm. to where he feels like, you know, it's his home, you know, right. the land of the dream, whatever you want to say. And to see him in the position that he's in now, it's beautiful to see them how they start him off with such a major feud. Yeah. Uh, and overall, I do think that he has found his, um, you know, what Sasha means to Bailey, mm-hmm. what Sammy means to Kevin, and vice versa for both of those. Right. I think he and Seth, in this era of wrestling, especially for men's wrestling, mm-hmm. I think they have found their um, their niche amongst one another. And I could honestly see them fight. Fight for- forever. Fight forever. <laughs> Fight forever. Literally, I, I I have to agree because I mean, 
you're seeing the match the first time at WrestleMania, it was pretty good. I feel like this one was a lot better um, because it allowed them to understand, like, okay, you're both in different eras. There are a lot of different moves that you guys have. They were telling story inside of the ring. Um, and although, like, self did, self did not win, um, I mean, if it if it does go to Hell in a Cell, I wouldn't mind it. This has to be where it ends. This has to be where self actually can finally beat Cody Rose. But if he doesn't, I don't know. Are we at Hell in a Cell next? We are. That's Hell in so Cell is next. That's weird it's that in. Hell in a Cell is, um, is before. I'm sure it's always been like that. I just don't remember. Mm-hmm. Hell in a Cell is before Money in the Bank. Yeah. Money in the Bank is until July. And Hell in a Cell is in June. So, I mean, of are course, you? it just seems as if, like, you know, if, if the story continues, it's definitely going to go to Hell in a Cell. Meaning that there's going to be a, it's going to be a wow for this build up if it, if the story continues with them. Um, obviously, Seth is, is not, not going to be extremely happy coming in Monday Night Raw to talk yeah. about him losing to Cody Rose for the second time in a row. So does he get a new opponent or do we just keep this? Um. It, 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 I don't know. Like, I feel like if they continue it, then that means that at Hell in a Cell, Seth has to be Cody Rose. If not, it's it's not gonna work. Or Cody Rose get a new opponent. But let's say say Cody Rose does get a new opponent. Seth is gonna be somewhere lingering around somehow, some way. Their match could either their third match could either go to Money in the Bank or they could save it for SummerSlam. Yeah. Let Cody and Seth kind of go their separate ways for a moment um, and then kind of pick things back up towards either Money in the Bank or SummerSlam. Mm-hmm. Um, something of that nature. That's what I think. I, don't know. I honestly feel like they should just keep fighting each other. I think they should just go in hell in the cell. They should have they should both be involved in the money in the bank. Mm-hmm. They should leave the match beating the hell out of each other. They should yeah. go on to SummerSlam and beat the hell out of each other again. Mm-hmm. They should be on different brands and then Survivor Series. They should beat each other again. Like I like I don't care. Like I want this. I want this. It could be feud of the year. Yeah. Definitely be. one of the matches of the year. I will say that for for the men wise. Um something yeah. we have to catch up. Um, but definitely, I say one of the few, probably few of the year um, for me, and one of the few of the year. And even like the, seeing how this going, you know, and if it constantly goes into Hell in a Cell, we kind of see maybe Hell in a Cell ends in no contest. They both pass the hell out <laughs> from being the hell out of each other. And they try it all over again. Well, <laughs> maybe they both, maybe they both win money in the bank or something like that. You know, Beth has had a controversial win in Hell in a Cell that I will never. Get over. Of um, course, I, I think it's one of the worst Hell in the Cell matches ever. Honestly, mm-hmm. the match itself was good, but that ending, oh my god, like oof. it was stupid. I I still have flashbacks from that, like that. Chad, like we in hell. Yeah. Could you imagine being in hell and then they tell you, you get counted out? Like, <laughs> like we are in hell. There's no disqualification. Like, There's no count out. There is, there is a, it, it, what, unless, unless they incapacitated or something. Let that man die. Uh, they can't do that. I'm Wait, just saying, I'm saying from a character standpoint, mm-hmm. they could have let, they could have let that man just like literally die mm-hmm. and then cut the lights out and it would have been just yeah. that. Okay. But child, y'all give me like ring the bit, child, that, that was dumb. It was the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That was mid wrestling went down. That's authentic. I don't care. That was stepping on it. That yeah. was it was that was the floor right there. Uh yeah. it really was. The bar was definitely in hell. Like yeah. literally. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely gonna get to that, Joseph. I swear yeah. we are. Uh we definitely gonna get into that part. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like if they continue to go on with that feud, I wouldn't mind it. Um, it's you know they continue to fight all year. They just manage. I feel like I, I think they might be in, in Money in the Bank together. It's yeah. possible. Yeah, it's possible. I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't either. 
Um, as we move on to what happened to be the main event for the night, um, which we're not done with me and Gabe, but we're going to get into it. Because uh, this this last one of the men's match involves a woman. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, it does involve. It me. does. It does. Um, so we had a six man uh tag team match that could have been one winner takes all, but it did not transpire. Uh so we had Drew McIntyre and RK Bro versus the bloodline. The bloodline. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take a deep breath for it. No, <laughs> nothing against the Usos, but you know, sorry, is that one in the middle? Um, well, listen, you hang around trash, you start to stink. So, no, well, they get your lights off <laughs> um, for breeze, whatever. Glade was it? Gla- Glade, did y'all use whatever? That was, that was a, a, a flimsy joke. So, I don't get in there turned up because I'm, I'm already on GC. I'm not turned, I'm <laughs> well, not you. No, not you. I'm talking to the crowd. I'm oh. already. Oh. <laughs> UCW <laughs> mode coming from the main day, right. you know. So that was just a jab. Let's not don't get too spicy. Uh child, ain't no little water can put them out. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of water is that anyway? Great value. I don't need. You don't even want to know. No, I really want to know. Child, I got this, I got this jump from the uh, Dollar General. Oh god, you got Dollar General sign on it, don't it? Logo. Yeah, it's a uh. That was purified water. Child, that's worse. That that's honestly that's, that's worse. worse than the sunny. No, yes, it is. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah. You should have just got a you should have got a bottle of the at this point. Well, listen, I had yeah. to I came to a hotel and uh they had no refrigerator. So oh that's awful. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so they had a six man match, tag match that happened at the end of the show. And mm-hmm. um Bloodline ended up winning. There was a lot going on here. They had a hot tag with Randy Orton. Randy Orton was just slinging people around. I tell you that much. Riddle had some really, really nice spots. Um, of course, they were teasing a little bit of Drew and Roman um, in this match, which Drew ended up getting taken out of the match because um, Roman hit him with Yanagi um, on side of the announcer's table. So yeah. that broke for again. Um, and I mean, it was pretty good, but I still feel like the New Day versus the Bloodline was a bit better. Um, so I think so. I think I think that would have been a lot better um, to me than than just that there. But here we are: Drew, RK Bro, the Bloodline. I don't really know what else really much to say about this match. I, I Honestly, I was falling asleep to some of it. To be honest, like I'm not even lie. Um, I mean, I, you know, from from the glimpse of me going to sleep and waking up to seeing things happen, obviously there was a lack of I could care less about this match because don't get me wrong, I like Randy Orton, I do like RK Bro. I'm not the biggest fan of Drew McIntyre, but he's cool people. I yeah. do like the Usos, but I know how I feel about Roman. So it's like a lot of a lot of mixed and matches of people over here that I can kind of too much like not care about, but then there's some people that I do care about, mm-hmm. and then it's just like I don't know, it's awful, it's terrible. <laughs> I think it's just, it is what it is. Like, I personally, you know, and now we can talk about it because, you know, Mm -hmm. uh, we keep hearing the rumors of what, you know, transpired with what Roman said about, Mm -hmm. you know, this, that, and the third. Maybe he'll make an announcement on Monday. Maybe he'll wait till Friday. Who knows? All we know is, obviously, I mean, it looks like his reign is about to come to an end. Um. And there was at one point in time mm-hmm. that SmackDown itself was getting like 2.1 on million viewers. Yeah. You know, his impact is, and this is no pun intended, but it's obviously pushes the needle. You know, mm-hmm. there's no denying that. I just, I do think that, the, you know, him saying that he's going to take a break or whatever he does next or, you know, whatever it may be, and it's not in the ring. I think that is the best way to end this character. And because you can't, honestly, mm-hmm. it, and I'm just being 100%, you cannot have Roman lose to anyone in this company at this moment in no way, shape, or form. 
there is no one on any roster that you could allow that would make me really think after all this time, not Drew, not Kevin, not Sami Zayn. No, I don't I don't care Austin Theory. I don't care who you get. There's no one on this roster that that they have written for me to believe that would beat this man. And I just feel like we've come to the capacity of what is the tribal chief. And there's nothing wrong with that. Every king has his day of being slain. And maybe he's slaying himself. I would rather, and, and my question is, wouldn't you rather, fans <laughs> of Roman Reigns, wouldn't you rather him take himself off the throne instead of someone else taking him off the throne, you know, for him? Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. I just think it becomes very juvenile when we make it seem as if we need to continue on with this Roman thing. We don't. It's unnecessary. And I, I, it's the same with other reigns that have ended. Even when Britt Baker, I've lost literally in the last two months, I've lost every single, all of my favorites have lost all of their championships. And you know why? Because it's a time to turn over a new leaf. There's just a time to do something else. And they have booked Roman into a freaking wall. They've literally bulldozed this man to the highest mountain to where now the mountain, they they can't even get up there and give him anything, nothing. They can't give him anything because at this point, what do you do? You, you continue to run through everyone mm -hmm. and no one complains because let it would have been, I'm not even going to say her name, but let it would have been someone else running through the division, knocking everyone else. This woman has only had damn near two legitimate competitors her entire reign and Roman has continued to run through everyone and it can't it can't continue logically not mm -hmm. saying that it, not saying that it can't right but logically what are the basis of of Roman continuing on and tonight just proved that this was a very pointless match I, bad booking I don't care. I don't care what you say. I don't care who you ask. I don't care who reviewed it and said what they had to say. I'm saying it now. This match was bad for booking. It gave nothing. And then for it to be the main event. They honestly could have left him off the match card. Man, there was really, there was no reason for him to be on the match card. He didn't have a right. problem. You know no. what I'm saying? This was more so, dead. This, was, this whole thing, build up was supposed to be about the tag team division. Your RK bro and the bloodline. Well, the Usos basically. That's where it started at for the whole unification thing because of what Roman basically said that you know I unified the title, so now I need y'all to go get those raw tag team champions and let's unify those. But then you know, just to keep him relevant into a, a storyline that you know I guess could open up a door for him and Drew McIntyre, just because. You know, he ripped up the contract and had that whole, uh, they had that whole, like, brawl in the middle of the ring. Doesn't mean that they had to be added to this match. They could have just been in a corner or something of that nature. They didn't necessarily have to be here um, to be a part of this match, if we're being honest. So, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's it's to the point where, you know, of course, yeah, he, you know, he dropped the spill um, on the show or whatever. A lot of people were, you know, making assumptions of maybe his cancer came back or he's going to go off and be Hollywood and do movies. Um, a lot of them just said that, you know, maybe he's uh, like just going to be taking some time from doing like live live events or something like that. So there's a lot of different reasons and, and well, a lot of different assumptions as to what could really be the reason why he stated what he said in that video. Um, nobody really knows as of right now, um, but I don't know. Maybe Tomorrow, maybe Friday, maybe sooner or later we'll find out um, what he meant by that. Maybe. Uh, Joseph said, I figure it anyway. Fox can be happy that he has both men's world heavyweight uh, championships. I wonder if he really, I wonder if he ain't really leaving. What if he's saying and he ain't doing house shows that much longer? He could be like Randy on the TV, which is true. That That is true. But I think I, I could have sworn I thought maybe like, RK Bro does do some live events, but not all of them, but some of them do. Um, mm -hmm. 
For Joseph all said Vince's um, obsession with Roman reached a peak tonight in the six men. Vince has nobody he likes that could uh, replace Roman on both shows. And then day 612, Roman has been the universal uh, champion. Now he is Roman, hashtag Roman two belts. It's handcuffed both writing styles to the point. Vince is scared to take the title off Roman, which is true. And it's like you, there's like, like I've said before, there have been competitors that Roman has been up against some like legitimate competitors that could have easily beat him. Cesaro. Definitely Cesaro. Cesaro, I definitely feel like Cesaro should have beat Roman. He was he was one of, outside of Kevin Owens, he was one of his top competitors who could really beat the dogs without a Roman Reigns. Kevin Owens with, with me just felt more mm -hmm. personal. I yeah. felt like we get to see a different side of Roman and Kevin. It got to a whole different marquee um with everything. And if I'm not mistaken, even his even what he had with uh Corbin, yeah, was not bad. No, like no. it hasn't been bad. I just think they've done it in a way where it becomes a bit stale. And we've said mm -hmm. this for months now. Mm -hmm. And I think that you can't like, I think a lot of us mm -hmm. have been kind of fishing for someone to be him. And it's just yeah. not gonna it just it just doesn't happen. If you write it right, honestly, you write it. Doesn't mean you have to spin like doesn't mean that some it should spin the block to come back around to face wrong. No. No, I think he should drop because it I could happen. Relinquish. Honestly, I think wow. there's no more competitors for him. I think if he says that, if the, if whatever he's saying is true, mm -hmm. I think Vacate this is the it. Vacate him so that he doesn't, yeah. so that he Vacate. can just go down and say that. Well, well, then because when he comes back, he's gonna be like, Well, nobody has beat me for these titles, or yeah, so it's gonna be like kind of like what Becky's situation was. The only thing is that she kind of you know, vacant her tight gave she had someone that she can give it to. Roman but that's if, that's if he comes back. Mm -hmm. And even if he if he waits a long time to come back, then he doesn't even have to come back, you no. know, to face a champion. Mm -hmm. He could come back at let's say a special show. But they're gonna put him in a title picture, Nick, if he comes back. It's just it's I automatically I don't, I don't know. And not if he faces the rock. That no. doesn't happen. Be a championship. I think if he comes back, they that's the one thing that he's gonna have to do. I think that if I think Rock's gonna be doing some special mm -hmm. or doing something, and it doesn't even have to be WWE related, yeah. but Roman pops up, and then this is the first time we see Roman, mm -hmm. and then boom, you know, it happens. I just do think that they're gonna try to substitute him for someone, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna have to deal with other people like. <sighs> I mean, well, if they do vacate the titles, then I feel like Bobby should be someone who should be like, like someone who should at least have some type of way to be a part of the title picture. Because he technically didn't lose his title. Technically, he didn't. I think I think Dolph Ziggler should go back to being a world champion. Well, just... Dolph, Dolph Ziggler hasn't been anywhere to be found except for a live show. He hasn't. Right. We haven't seen him um, since he lost the title against Braun Breaker on Raw. We haven't seen him. Except, you know, him and, uh, you know, Rude have been on live shows, but on TV-wise, yeah, they've been nowhere to be found. I would love to see him get another ring, honestly. And I would love to see Sammy, you know, somehow work his way up to that. But it seems like it could be possible. For Sammy more than anything. Because, I mean, he's getting, he's aligning himself a little bit closer to the bloodline. Yeah. This could be his way of working his way up and saying, you know, I've been doing all this stuff for you. You yeah. know, he... He never really clearly got a title shot in the way that he wanted to because of the whole Brock situation thing. So I think that that's someone who should definitely like be a part of the title picture. Sami yeah. Zayn should. He and definitely has the, the charisma and the character to hold a title. He yeah. does. A world title at that. For God's sake, he was NXT champion. Hello? I honestly, and with you, with you saying that, I think that he should, that look, when he becomes, like, he wins the championship, mm -hmm. and then the next night, he, goes he back comes to back to that same, Sammy, oh my God, I would, like, I would be everything out, honestly, and mm -hmm. then have Kevin take it down the road, oh my God, like, Joseph, <laughs> 
Sammy Curran character should definitely be W Universal Champion and it won't be stale. It really wouldn't. I think Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn has a, a wonderful character. He definitely knows how to keep you entertained in various of various of ways. Even if he doesn't even say anything, he just pops up on your screen. You just his facial expression just say it all. His yeah. in-ring ability speaks for itself. Yeah. Anybody that you put him in a match with, it's gonna be great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Honestly. Anybody you put him in a few with, it's gonna be great. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like he brings out a character um within a lot of people. He does. Yeah. Um, so I think that he would definitely be one of those a, a great competitor or someone who could be champion eventually. I really do. Um I don't know. So it just it just leaves a question to those who are fans of Roman. If Roman leaves, who is champion now? What are you gonna do? What are you going to do? Uh, I think that'll be fine. I heard from is leaving. Hmm? I heard honestly that yeah. people still were relying on Austin Theory, um, and there <laughs> wow, was someone really? else. That, they said someone else. Rolando also theory to be like the face of the company. I mean, oh, he's no. his, I mean, he's aligned himself with Vince McMahon. So I mean, I saw this like, earlier. It was, it was Austin Theory. Mm-hmm. And, oh, Braun Bre- Breaker. That's oh yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yo, that when I say I laugh so. Oh, Braun Breaker. I mean, you you know I. I just wasn't expecting people like I just wasn't expecting that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Those two people. But here's the thing, though, with Braun Breaker, um, Austin Theory. Oh god, here we go. I kiss my ass, bro. He is OVW Austin. He is OVW John Cena. That's it, literally with the with the military cut. I mean, but here, here, here's my thing, though. Since you speak of this whole thing. Okay. And I know that, um, you know, John Cena and Austin Theory have had some type of interaction on social media before. Obviously. So, John Cena is supposed to be coming back. When? He, for the summer. Dang. He's supposed to be coming back. Yeah, yeah for y'all. Not for go, me. Go, he's going to be going to No, let's come to Raw. You will get no, skipped to the black no, man that we don't see. Absolutely not. Absolutely. No. That man will get skipped. I will start this post and I'm like, John Cena is back. <laughs> right. And I will play the intro. All John of, Cena is I will back. Play the intro. Right. John, Cena, John Cena is back. I hope you yeah. guys are ready. T minus one minute. <laughs> <laughs> T minus <laughs> 40 seconds. <laughs> John Cena, if you're watching. Uh, we here here women's wrestling talk. I, 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 what? What you gonna say? We what? We appreciate you for following the page. Oh, okay. I don't give a damn about that man, but I'm saying here at Women's Wrestling Talk, we appreciate you because he, you know, he says he listens to podcasts and listens to wrestling mm-hmm. things. And if he hears this, I want him to know that here at Women's Wrestling Talk, right? Appreciate that. I personally. No, no, well, I don't need. We don't have to keep this man is turning into Terry. Is he? So. Yeah, yeah, it's getting overdone. He turned. He turned into the old bird with the returns. I, I don't like. Think, he was good. Uh, I think the only difference is people actually enjoy. It. Some people actually do enjoy. Now it. that's the, now that is a horrible argument because everybody enjoys all the two of the other people that I named too. People love Goldberg and people love Terry. So that argument is canceled because mm-hmm. they do, but they do though. But I'm but, hey, I'm, but here's the thing though. At the end of the day, no matter how many people walk around and say, "Oh, I'm tired of seeing them. I don't want them to come back." Out of this, out of that. When they show up. What 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 we doing? I'm gonna just be sitting there, and then I'm gonna, if it's all wrong, I'm gonna. Just gonna I don't know. Boo L take. Uh, I thought he was speaking pig Latin or something. I don't know what yeah. that was. <laughs> I but I personally just no. I don't want to see him either. And I promise you. And I was gonna say this. I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. I would. I was gonna say this earlier, but I was like, nah, because it ain't. It ain't gonna be a transition, or it ain't gonna mean anything. But now it does. I swear to you, if they trade out Roman for John Cena, 
I will appreciate Roman so much more. And I will be sitting there being like, dang, I wish we had Roman. Because that's one of the few times that I actually rooted for Roman to actually beat John Cena. If you bring me John no, Cena, don't do that. what in the hell is John Cena going to do? Because let me tell you something. It's upset, it's upset at me and my homegirls. If we have to go here and look at John Cena, where else can, can we go? I don't like that. I don't want to see them. What are we going to do now? Exactly. <laughs> Sitting around on your TV screen, every chance you get, your mind are going to get comfortable. Change he going to come back and face Omos. Yeah, it is what it is. He can pick him up. <laughs> he going to give him the attitude adjustment. That is so 2006, 2007. Boo. Give me something else. Tomato, tomato, tomato. Oh, whatever. You be hurt. I see why John Cena never went to another promotion. Why? Why he need to? I'm just no, he don't need to. I don't think anybody needs to. I just, I he definitely is a WWE lifer, like a hundred percent. And for those who people are gonna a hundred percent pop for that man, I just don't want to. Mm. But I don't think he's gonna trade them. They, they're gonna trade him out for Roman. No. By no means that's it's not gonna happen. He definitely may have someone else in theory. It's possible. Come on. He's definitely gonna that's he's definitely gonna have someone else in theory. Um the, the whole is. conversation of the whole he, he reminds me of John Cena, he's like John Cena 2.0, all this and that. Like yeah. eventually you they're gonna have they're gonna have some type of meetup eventually. It's going to happen. You got Vince's like wet dream right now. You got oh. your new version of John Cena. You got your OG John Cena right here. That is true. You got him I'm, in a match together. Like, He's holding the United States title the first time that John Cena won. Oh. So, I mean. Come on, you better book, because I didn't even think about that. That's the book. Oh, I mean, I'm and, just saying. Like, and, 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 I, mean, I, mean, I don't know who <laughs> the hell is, but she. <laughs> 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 So I'm just saying, like, it's something like that that could transpire, to be honest. Um, Child, let, let it happen. Um, let him come I out mean, start rapping like Eminem from A Man. Girl, they're going to have a child. Austin Theory might try to burst up his rapping skills or something. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, please. <laughs> if John Cena come back, his base is thugging, I'm going to hear him out of shape. But if he come back with all that never give up and I live and all that boo, I don't want to see it. I don't know what y'all are really expecting. I mean, he doesn't cater to y'all, though. No. I don't he's, expect him to that's there. the thing. He y'all uh, like I constantly keep saying he don't cater to y'all no more. Okay, so those who enjoy his, his moments, what he caters to his fans exactly fans who actually care and want to see him, not people who can care less. So why should he come out and be something that people who don't care who don't care about him be? Because just that would make it was just to make y'all care. It would it would sell more merch. I'm trying to help as if he's do. not as if he's not already people are, are still wearing his stuff. It's so not, it's like it, even though I, just, it's, it's I would like, here, I would personally like mm -hmm. a basic thugonomics jersey. Well, how about this? You can go on Amazon. You can go. You definitely go to wdshop.com because they still got them. If you want to go on there, Amazon, yeah. eBay, whichever no, one you no, gonna make your own thug, doctors of thugonomics. Uh, you get your no, own. Get on here and I don't see no jersey. You can definitely go to Amazon, go to eBay. If you don't go to eBay, definitely got you covered. Earn it. Never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Are you on are you on WWE Shop or are you on eBay? I'm on WWE Shop. Okay. Go to eBay, type in anything that deals with John Cena. You'll find some stuff on there. Oh, they got it on shop line. And here we are. Uh, so that's how John Cena moment for the at the time, but honestly, I don't know. I don't I mean I just think that maybe Roman could not just be doing a bunch of live shows anymore. It's possible. Hey, get um, your jersey. Hey, go ahead and get your jersey, chain game, uh five four. You already know what the thing is. That's what you know what I'm saying? Oh, look at that. You could you could have been wearing that on your birthday. Look at that chain game affiliated. There it is, the original where it started. Then you're gonna pull out the chain game after for GC <laughs> Don't get too happy. I'm not. You got a um, new shirt, don't you say come get you some? Yeah, come get you some. I mean, come get some. Come get some, come get you some, whatever you prefer. I think this new y'all for the John Cena fans. 
thing. Make sure you this out. Oh damn! I thought I had all my women's wrestling shirts. Oh wow! Not yeah, just gonna promote, not just gonna promote, promote somebody else in another company. <laughs> I Make sure you get our merch. <laughs> by the way, I mean she had it on earlier. I don't know what happened. It did. I it went did. To, I went to the yeah. impact show. That's it's it. okay. Sorry. Um, as we move forward on to our last man <laughs> match of the night, which, like I said, included a woman. Um, we had Edge versus AJ Styles part two. There's a lot of part two matches that happened tonight. Um, this one was it was pretty good. Um, it started off pretty decent, of course. Damian Priest. Um, was barred from resign. He couldn't come outside to the ring. So, but eventually he did make he did come out there. But the only difference was he didn't cross the line to actually necessarily be ringside. Um, so he was a little distraction for AJ Styles. But Finn Balor came out there, and you know they had their little brawl outside the ring, kind of turning eyes away from what was going on. But AJ Styles was climbing up to the top rope. There was a mystery person um, in all black. However, from the gear. You can definitely tell who it was. Um, basically, they knocked um, AJ Styles off the top rope, which allowed uh, Edge to put AJ Styles in a submission move that <clears throat> basically choked that man out. AJ Styles got choked out tonight by Edge and Edge being the winner. So people were still, you know, you know, happy that Edge won, but still trying to figure out who is this person that's in all black in a hood with their face covered. Nobody, well, some people knew who it was. But for those who didn't know, we found out tonight exactly who that person was. Someone that everyone has been speculating and wanted to join Judgment Day. Everybody got their wish tonight. Rhea Ripley joins Judgment Day with a new look. Her hair is no longer blonde. She's no longer blonde. She has dark hair now. She's getting in the mold of being a part of Judgment Day. She look a damn fool. <laughs> Girl! But Rhea is now a part of Judgment Day. Long story booking is what she wrestling folks like to say. She has now joined Damian Priest and Edge, what people have already been speculating and wanting, and this is what we get. The only thing people are really missing right now is Tommaso Ciampa being a part of this faction. Uh, Rhea said no, she don't. I know this match down here, fake. What? This one you finna you we gonna get into no no this, this, we finna get into that. That we, ain't real. Well, guess what? It's about to be. No, um, they did not put that on WWE, did they? Joseph said he loves the burn. Thank you, Joseph. Um, burn. That's hey, crazy. Jaden said he's trying to have some nightmares. He got something she can do. Yeah, she look a damn fool. Um, I just think it's the fact of the slip back. I think that if she maybe, mm -hmm. I don't know. I think her. I think it's her makeup. Honestly, her makeup really, really ashed her out. Like I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want you. Like I mean, it really ashed her out. A yeah, lot. she look. She definitely look in character though. Like I really even, so. like, she definitely is giving it. Mm -hmm. And I think that this picture. I think uh, this is like we need a better. This angle. one is much better because she yeah. kind of looked like the, the Joker. She looks evil, you know? I'm scared. Yeah. She done made the wrong decision because, let me tell you something. Her, like little, friend, friend. her little friend gonna be trying to ride on her coattails with a storyline. Well, <laughs> why is her arm bigger than Edge? I mean, Rhea works out, like, every day. I don't know what you're expecting. Like, she, she works out. You know, arms bigger than Edge, though. She works out. Like I don't know what you're expecting. Like she, she works out. She does look good. Yeah, right there. This one right I here. Think, yeah, I, 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 yeah. It was a bad. It was a bad screenshot. I'm um, pretty sure tomorrow we're definitely going to see 
um, more of Rhea Ripley. Maybe she'll have her hair maybe a little different. I like when she have her hair like in her face a little bit. I actually did like that. It was really cute. Um, but yeah, Rhea, Rhea's a part. You know, we've been having this discussion already about who we will want to be a part of it just fact she was like, okay, yeah. these kind of women. And they Rhea, Rhea, like, Rhea. Or they already were gonna do that anyway, but yeah, that's possible. Um uh, reasons hence her turning uh um turning along Liv Morgan, mm -hmm. uh losing Morgan, um per usual. Everybody turns on Liv Morgan, never fails. She's just a punch of bag, literally. Hey, did Ruby turn on her too? Indeed. Girl, <laughs> <laughs> they were feuding with each other. They were feuding with each other at some point. They were fighting. I didn't, the the I didn't know. I didn't remember. Yes. Yes. I didn't remember it was Ruby that turned on Chad. I guess she got tired. Let me guess. She got tired of losing. Child, she just got tired of being, you know, being a part. And then after she left, That's came back trying to save her. That all happened during inside the pandemic era. So I mean, you know, so I saw the but that, it is what it is. Um, so Nikki, um, before I actually pull up this photo that is going to happen at, at, at this pay per view, no, it. yes, it is. Uh, go ahead and get comfortable because it's happening. Um, <laughs> uh, Liv Morgan wasn't too too fond of Rhea Ripley. She was like, "Wow, what a bitch!" Is what she. What did she no, she put on her Twitter because the fact of like she, she joined Edge's, you know, faction. And Liv was just like, wow, what a bitch. So Liv takes it upon herself to post a photo of her doing the two suites um, with the NWO shirt on. And of course, some some fellow Bullet Club member, like the ultimate Vanessa, said that, you know, you can't blame them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you know, then there are people in the comment section saying you should join tonight. tonight. There were people that were saying that, oh, you know, you should join, you should definitely join uh, AJ Styles and you should join. You're talking about, you talking about yeah, Chris Bay, right? Yes, I am. I, I oh. am. Oh. Yes, ma'am. This it is what happened when you go to May Day. This what, it is what happened. And I, I actually happened. got a picture with Chris Bay tonight and talked to him and everything. You know, we chopped it up and, um, mm -hmm. dang. Yeah, he was I like, I forgot that was like right. he, you know. See, he said, I'm not gonna say who, but he said he had been, you know, shopping it up, um, you know, and um, damn. yeah, so this is the photo that Liv Morgan posted with the NWO shirt on. With the That's old though, yeah, but she posted that tonight. If you go to the Liv Morgan's Twitter account, this photo is posted right above her saying, Wow, that this that bitch. What a bitch when she was talking about uh Rhea Ripley. So I mean, a lot of people were just saying, you know, she needs to like come join Edge and, and all this and that and the bullet club, you know, join them for the bullet club and stuff like that, like join them and everything. Like fans are really saying that you she should join them. Um, those who 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 really just like don't want that to happen, really don't want that to happen. Like, why why would we want her to join them? For what? Wait, so is that match real? Um, <laughs> so if you wonder what Nikki was referring to, I'm talking about this here. So basically, what they've done is they've made a fan art of what they think could possibly take place or will like to happen at Hell in a Cell. So you build up this faction against faction, you include Tommaso Chunk because he's been attacking uh, Ali, and nobody really knows exactly why he's been attacking him. You have Rio joining Judgment Day, and you bring Liv Morgan in because Liv Morgan is the person that she has been beating up on the course of weeks. Of course, Finn and, and, Finn and, and Damian Priest have had their, their matches and stuff like that with Finn beating, you know, Damian Priest and Damian Priest losing his uh, United States title. And then, of course, you got your ring leaders, AJ Styles and Edge, who's had their feud started at you know, even before WrestleMania happens. So you put up these four against each other. It's like an intergender war games inside the Hell in a Cell. That's really what fans are are making fan arts and graphics of stuff like this, of what they are predicting and would like to have. So have Judgment Day versus Styles Club. So, I mean, I personally don't want it. I never even asked for it in the first place. Let's 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 make that really clear. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't 
I don't know what you guys' problem is in regards to thinking that Liv Morgan should be a part of anything that's associated with the Bullet Club. And if it's called Styles Club, that ain't no Bullet Club either. It's I don't know who you ask. And you know what? I ain't even finna entertain this. Because I'm going to have a lot to say to Miss Liv uh, Livisha Morgan, because that's going to be her new name, Livisha Morgan. On Monday, if she keep playing with me on that Bullet Club mess, because that ain't, that ain't, baby, you're you you you're gonna have to take that down. And then Chris Bay talking about something. I just read his. Mm, uh, I told you, he, he made, he, 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 he said, don't condone that, boo. Don't condone that, because we're not finna do that. Uh -uh. No. Don't come over here with, with the nonsense, okay? Uh uh, because we'll be real active. We're active. We're, we like, can't even, I'm not even, we're not even throwing up the two sweet tonight. No. Just for that. Now, now I'm upset. Now I'm upset. You want to be out here entertaining the foolishness of a, of a loser. And I mean, to be honest, it would make sense for, you know, for her to do intergender, but they ain't all got to be together and she ain't got to represent them. No, not all. Oh, and she can be, she can continue to do what she's doing. Yeah. Maybe I, we will see more of the women interact with men. We're seeing Charlotte and Drew, Lett, Drew Gulak. We saw yeah. Rhea tonight do her thing. Maybe they're starting to catch on to certain things like we're seeing with Impact. You know, Jordan mm -hmm. Grace Morrissey doing their thing. A lot but, of women to be involved. I feel like they're tough enough. You guys used to have, they used to have energy in the matches. They used to have matches, but they had men and women being matches together. Come on now. Y'all had that, but once before. There are so many men and women that you guys can match up with and have fused with that'll go crazy. I don't know what it is, but it's like there are so many people, so many people, so many. And the fact that, that it is it's crazy that the fact that Charlotte beating up on Drew Gulak has fans going more crazy over that than what she has going on with a woman that mm -hmm. just happened to be running around with. Mm-hmm. That's more talking about more invested. people are more invested in her her feud with Drew Gulak mm -hmm. than her feud with, with Ronda Rousey. And honestly, that's been the most entertaining piece Literally. of the entire feud to the point where it's like, you know, but I um, mean, we, I know we have to it's just like, I guess, you know what I'm saying? I, I personally, like I said, don't really want Liv Morgan to be anywhere near the Bullet Club whatsoever. Keep her away because um, she's going to rub something on them and I don't, I don't need that to happen. Um, Grab something on them as well. <laughs> that is wild. It's like bad incense, so, you know. Yeah. I don't want it. Mm -mm. I pass on that offer. Um, but yeah, so Rhea, you're on a judgment day. I'm excited to see where this goes. I'm excited to see um, who else gets added. Um, I thought maybe Finn would have turned on AJ. <laughs> I really did. I thought maybe he would have joined them. And then we get the Demon King. Yeah. I don't think that's happening anytime soon as of right now. So I might as well just, you know, live it up. Seeing him part of something. They like him and AJ ain't been, you know, did this whole Bullet Club thing before. They're, they're the only other leaders in WE as of right now. Besides Cody Rawls being a part of the Bullet Club too. You know, so that's that. Um, I mean, we got a new champion tonight. So. You do. You definitely do. We definitely do got a new champion. And that's exactly what they get into. The only women's match that happened on tonight's show, which, um, wow. So let's get into it. Charlotte Flair defends her SmackDown or Women's SmackDown or SmackDown champion, uh, <laughs> however Ronda Rousey has to say it, against Ronda Rousey in an I Quit match. Um, this is part two of their WrestleMania match where Charlotte Flair actually did defeat Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania, where a lot of people thought that the Royal Rumble winner was going to come out on top. Unfortunately, that did not happen. Damn. But for some reason, it happens tonight. It does. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And now Charlotte is injured, supposedly. So it's like... Maybe this is a way for her to kind of take some time off a little bit or, or you know, kind of back away from the TV screen, give Ronda all of the spotlight and the shine. Maybe right before, I don't know, maybe she'll start a few with Lacey Evans because Lacey Evans did say she wanted to come for this SmackDown Women's Champion. So That's I mean, what she said she was coming for next, besides yeah. her losing her damn insanity. Well, 
Yeah, I I <laughs> am so happy that I do not have to talk about Miss Lacey Tide Ass Evans. Baby, let me tell you something. I don't give, I don't care. Like she got to be, she got to be sick in the head. And then whoever, whoever writing that pool, they got to be sick in the head too. I don't care about your crying and pleading and all that, girl. Everybody has a story. Mm -hmm. And that's a problem. And I'm gonna say it, and I know this is probably gonna be controversy, but this is a character that we're talking about. So I'm mm -hmm. talking about Lacey Evans. I don't know her personal life. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's true or not. Mm -hmm. But for her character, for what she's told, do you think I'm supposed to feel sorry for you? <laughs> Reminds me of that video. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you think I'm supposed to feel sorry for you? I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> like, hey. That's a joke. Lacey <laughs> Evans is a joke, baby. That all that American baby, that is a joke. And then she coming out the Wanda, baby. Good luck. Good luck, baby, because you got the farm versus the born yard. And baby, there it is. <laughs> and baby, they, they just gonna get to it. And I'm not like I am screaming. Let them come out there and let them tell you know, Samantha. Damn, what? Came to a ring talking about some everybody stand up. Girl, when I tell you I would have been sitting down like I sit down for the national. I don't know what was going on. Girl, I don't do that. I thought something was gonna happen. I really didn't at the, it was at the NWA and they started playing that national anthem stuff. Baby, I was sitting down. That stuff is not like oh my god. Y'all, I'm I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, and I promise you, Lacey. She better stay on SmackDown over there with you and Stephanie, because I'm telling you, if they let me a hold a lacy, baby, y'all gonna have to come to my Twitter for the for that lacy stuff, because baby, it, yeah, if she's the one to face Rhonda, which I don't think she will be, I mean yeah. she might because oh that is right, because Rhonda is SmackDown Women's Champion. I don't know why. I don't know why I made me think she's about SmackDown Yeah, she's a SmackDown. She's the SmackDown champion. Mm -hmm. so she don't I, don't know. Know. I don't know why we got to say women anyway. I don't but, know why we got to say women anyway. But yeah, Charlotte, Ronda had an I quit match. That was all over the place. Taking drinks, throwing chairs, throwing cameras at that. Um, dodging bullets, big boots to the face, a bunch of kendo sticks, um, bodies everywhere. Um it was a lot of things happening um, and there was a lot of no's never mm -hmm. bitch, a lot of this and that and um, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the quote I mean that, that was that was stated in quote. quotes that was a lot of that never, they went to the audience uh, it, it fought inside of the audience, I know it was a little musty um, shout out to them for getting through that uh, walk through okay. um, should have came over <laughs> Get your lights out already, because I'm telling you, it's a little ashy out there. Um, AEW, I heard, got the, the worst. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been to AEW shows, so I don't know what it feels like. I said like. far when I went, so I ain't have to worry about it. You want, you want a, a, a amongst the must. <laughs> no, I wasn't amongst the must. I felt like I was in VIP, because uh, <laughs> Brandon was down there at the bottom, and then they moved mm -hmm. up. So, we, you know, we was just... Yeah. The, the section we were in, it was nobody in there, literally. Mm -hmm. So, it was like, I didn't have to you know, smell the fans, but child, let me tell you, yeah. impact is wild. Yeah, it, it was. Um, but I don't, what, I don't care what GCW smell like, baby, because let me tell you, I put on the gas mask. I, I, I don't know. I just, I just know that we, we did get our uh, GCW guide, guide book to to Al. On what to do. Shout out um, to Al. Goggles, don't sit on the first row unless you're prepared for things. Um, I know Nikki wants to sit on the first row. I don't care, just as long as you know, y'all y'all don't hit me because I'm a swing, for real. I don't play that. <laughs> you know, keep your belongings together because you're gonna have to move all that good stuff. But yeah, so I quit match. Um, Charlotte Flair ended up tapping out, and of course we got a new SmackDown champion. Uh, I'm sorry, SmackDown Women's Champion, Ronda Rousey, and new. This graphic's kind of cute, but yeah. whatever. Um, Nikki, you were out and about. Um, you only caught a glimpse of the match, and um, 
uh, Rhonda put Charlotte in the worst arm bar I've ever seen in my entire life through a chair. Um, it's just like she was just pulling her arm, like she was trying to pop it or something. Like, you know, chiropractors do some, you know, popping your arm, trying to get you back right or whatever. It was awful. Charlotte ended up saying, I quit. And um, yeah, here we are. New champion. Where Charlotte's injured now, supposedly. Could be story, could be for real. Um, where do we go from here? I know this is not your show. No, I know it's not your not. show, but um, we do talk about women's wrestling here. And um, and, I've, and I've been keeping my champions at a really high marquee mm -hmm. uh, these past four months. And, and in just a couple weeks, I have lost. Uh, Deanna has lost the AAA Rana Del Reigns Championship. Mm -hmm. She lost her rematch. She's lost the ROH Women's World Championship. Mm -hmm. Trey Miguel, you know, who's on my shirt, lost his X Division Championship. And I kind of figured that tonight would be the night that Charlotte lost her championship as well. Mm -hmm. And it's not about the championship. It's about the champion. Mm -hmm. It's never about what's being held. It's about who's holding it. Right. So when you disconnect from your reign, people are always like, what's next? What's mm -hmm. next? And when you're at a certain platform, it doesn't matter what's next because you're the pinnacle of wherever you stand. So just like Deanna Perrazzo is the face of Impact Wrestling, Charlotte Flair will remain the face of WWE. And even in her absence, people are going to wonder what's next, what's next. And I think for right now, it's just anything is possible for Charlotte. Mm -hmm. This has been the best reign thus far in her career for me as a fan. It's been yeah. lengthy. We've had a crossover. We had her on Raw. She's feuded with so many different people, even though they haven't gotten a lot of, you know, you know, honestly, a lot of time with her she wanted to drop the bianca she wanted to um you know she wanted to drop to bianca and she didn't mm -hmm. so you know to in order to reach a certain the one thing that i can say with charlotte is that they don't know when time is up with roman they don't get it they don't understand that it's it's reached its marquee with charlotte mm -hmm. i think they kind of understand there's just a time and a place where it comes to a conclusion. And tonight was just that. I don't know why they didn't just let Ronda go over. Yeah. Um, I don't. I have no idea on why they just didn't let her get the victory. Uh, she lost yet again at WrestleMania. And then you win at WrestleMania Backlash. Um, you've never... Ronda wins her, big, her titles at the oddest pay-per-views and then we go on and we have a reign. Um, so it just is what it is. You know, I'm not personally like, I'm not mad that Charlotte lost because when you know how this works and you understand certain things, you kind of just prepare yourself for your favorite to lose if you can. I'll say that if it, if the, if the pre preparation is built correctly, but it is what it is. Um, she's bigger than any woman in that business. Mm -hmm. I don't care. She's yeah. No one, no one's touching Charlotte Flair. Period. No. no woman in that division is touching her. No one's done what she's done. I don't care what they say, whether they say it's booking or not. If you book, you got to show up. If you give mm -hmm. an opportunity, you got to ace it. Um, Charlotte Flair is not any, 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 there's no one on her caliber. I don't care what tag team titles you hold. I don't care what other tag, what other promotion titles you hold. There's no one on that woman's level. And Rhonda needed to beat Charlotte mm -hmm. eventually. Um, yeah. and what happened? And now she's champion. And now we're going to see, I, I gratefully don't have to talk about the reign of Rhonda every week but you know we'll see i personally now that this is over i need to know what they're going to do with bianca because bianca wasn't on this card defending her championship 
Neither were the tag team champions who have a match on Friday defending their titles, which they could have been doing that tonight. Maybe travel issues, you know, mm -hmm. who knows? But the women's division is Friday. Like, like I said, like we talked about this before in regards to, well, what I said on SmackDown, like the whole, you know, women's tag team thing. I do feel like, you know, I don't, we never really had the women's tag team, I think, being the hell in the cell before. You know, no, Elimination so. Chamber, yes. But so as far as like. Had four women's hell in the cell matches. Exactly. And all of them have involved the four horsewomen besides mm -hmm. Bianca. Yeah. Being a, so it would be nice, you know. I think to have them involved, like, you know, we could possibly, you know, be getting some new tag teams developing too. So I yeah. think you put them inside of the Hell in a Cell match, like make it like a triple threat tag team match or something like that, made it a fatal four-way tag team match or something like that of that nature. And put the women in there, you know what I'm saying? Like, and let them really, really go crazy and show out and let them <clears throat> at least, you know, go out there, go crazy, <clears throat> be match of the night or something like that. Yeah. Um, with Bianca, I mean, of course, a, a championship is going to have to go in the Hell in a Cell at least. You know what I'm saying? You would think, you know. I mean, she's already been in one, which she's already, she's won. She beat Bailey, you know what I'm saying, which was one of the a, a phenomenal uh, Hell in a Cell matches. She did an amazing job for it to be her first time. Yeah. You know, it allows to see Bianca be able to be in stipulations like this and see how she carries herself. Yeah. You know, um, so I I believe that, you know, if she does, I mean, just like who who's her opponent going to be? Her and Becky, Becky, you know, said some few things on, on Twitter earlier um, in regards to like, you know, what a, like what champion is like when I was champion, I was defending my title on every paper, pay-per-view or whatever. I think Bianca, I remember Bianca had said something to her. I don't necessarily remember exactly what she well, said, she ain't lying, but I do remember what she said, but you know, it is true. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I don't say it's not Bianca's right. fault that she wasn't that's defending just, her title. That's just her talking shit. But if we're being mm -hmm. honest, like that's booking. If yeah. they feel like they want to protect their pride and prop and yeah. send her to the Derby instead mm -hmm. of having her defend against, and I'm not knocking anyone, mm -hmm. but if they if they have her defend against someone who they feel like is not on the caliber, look at the people you have to choose from. Mm -hmm. Nikki, you drop and live. Honestly, you have yeah. other people you could choose from like Dana and Tamina. But mm -hmm. all in all, who has a, a legitimate backlash besides Becky? And if backlash mm -hmm is it on the card for Becky, then it would have been nice to see Becky come out and say something, though. Yeah, it would have, but... That's so, all right, knowing she wasn't going to be there. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, Becky said, when I was champ, my title was defending on air pay view. Bianca responded and said, coming from the woman who literally handed her title over and lost it the last time she defended it. Girl, get the hell on. Don't <laughs> ever come for my work ethic and or credibility because you tried it and oh yeah happy mother's day <laughs> hey <laughs> when i say bianca is so like she's not shady on social media but if she if you try her uh, that is hilarious it's going down. That is hilarious. Uh, Joseph said that this was a badass match. I agree with Nikki. Why couldn't this have been at WrestleMania? Charlotte and Ronda were screwed to be on the same night as Bianca and Becky. Um, he also said, I think Charlotte only dropped it because one, because one theory, not sure how real it is. She's finally getting married to Andrade at some point. Mm -hmm. They wrote her off by saying Ronda if the part or. Which is how they did her with Nia Jax mm -hmm. when she was going to have surgery. Yep. And Nia Jax, they did the same thing. And Charlotte really loves that. Charlotte loves to make people keep guessing, mm -hmm. um, to make it continue a story instead of just losing her title and then just leaving. Mm -hmm. uh, why not build the story, you know? So, right. I don't know. Shout out to them, though. That's, listen. That's it. Uh, it's ghetto. I'll tell you that. Um, so now it's like, well, Ronda Rousey's new champion. Now we got to hear her come out and speak, which I won't be here to see. <laughs> I won't be here to hear Ronda, you know, give the rundown of, you she know, her coming to my now champion, huh? She might pull up Monday. And do what? 
say she the Ronnie, women's Ronnie, show. Ronnie, Ronnie, she Ronnie. Might come, she might come on Monday mm -hmm. and call out Bianca and say that she wants both of the championships. Girl, something that she didn't have. That yeah. she never had a chance to get and then boom, mm -hmm. money in the bank. No, hell in the cell. Or, or, you know. Well. Anything can happen. I personally don't care. That's just me. I don't I'm here for the ride. Uh, but I I don't give a damn what they do. I would like to see Charlotte take some time off the same kind of way, you know, it's for the WrestleMania that year. That's, you know, know. that's, like that's it. Yeah, that's what it is. So I mean, it is what it is. That was WrestleMania backlash, y'all. Uh, we're about to go ahead and get on out of here because I have to go to work. Um, and Nikki has to find her way to get back on the road um, in the morning. So, I mean, um, it is what it is. Thank you guys so much for joining us um, on tonight. We know it's pretty late, but it is what it is. Uh, Joseph, of course, always in the comments with us. Uh, Kenneth, and then, of course, Jalen. Every time we talk about people that he wants to fantasize about is when he pop out. Um, crazy, right? But it is what it is. Um, this month is Asian Pacific on the Heritage Month. Um, we drop, we're dropping articles all, all week long, all day long, uh, every day of the week until yeah. the end of this month, we will have articles going out, um, on yesterday because today is a new day. Um, and there is no sunshine. Um, we drop me and yams. Um, on today, um, and so on and so forth. And like I said, we're we're working. Sam, you're late. You're late. You're late. Okay, we about to go. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys check out the articles um, all the way to the thirty first, where you get to beat the final boss. If you don't know who the final boss is. I don't have to tell you, but you definitely need to watch out because the woman has been doing amazing things since WCW. Um, you can always follow me um, on Google, Drian Santana. Make sure you type my name right. Otherwise, you're just not going to find me. You're going to find a plane. Make sure you uh, follow us on Twitch. Um, we're over here exclusively now. Post shows, all shows, whatever it is. Um, we're here on Twitch. Women's Wrestling Talk. WTalkPod. Um, WTalkPod.com for the website to check out the amazing articles um, and so on and so forth. If you get to catch up with some of the post shows on there, too. Um, if you missed this live uh, stream, you can always check watch it again. Or you can check it out on YouTube because that's where it'll be going. Um, what else? Today is Monday, so of course, Saw Shakers are back again. Uh oh, back again. I haven't done it in a minute. Um, but we're back for Monday Night Raw, of course, talking about whatever transpires there. Um, on Wednesday, Mika and Al Dynamite Dolls uh, taking over AW uh, Dynamite. Thursday, oh, wait, excuse me, Monday still, Nikki's doing the news, supposedly. Uh, so make sure you be up right and early because it's going to happen. So make sure that you are here to hear about the news that took place over the weekend because Nick is going to give it to you. Like I said, move on to Wednesday, uh, Dynamite Dolls, AEW Dynamite. Um, Thursday, the news with me and TK um, or me and whoever else, the news on Thursday. Um, Katrina and Stephanie giving you NXT 2.0 and NXT UK rundown. Um, and then, of course, later that night, back at it again with the Saw Shakers for Impact, taking over the Impact. We're a part of Knockouts Division officially. Um, make sure you guys shake out for that so we can get all the debacle of everything that took place. Nikki pretty much will have all the information. Um, so, you know, get excited about that. And then, of course, Friday, um, it is SmackDown and Rampage. Unfortunately, I won't be here. Um, so make sure you come tune in with Stephanie. Um, for the show, and maybe she'll have like somebody come in and, and hold it down for her for that uh, episode. Then we we'll roll back back on again for Sunday. Um, uh, turn the glam, make sure you guys tune in for that. Um, other than that, Nikki, any closing thoughts before we get out of here? No, that's it. Y'all know where to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Nikki Bougie. Um, yeah, that that's that's it. Well, I mean, we'll be right. Tomorrow, I am. I, I am. Child. I am. <laughs> I am wore out. We we have been doing a lot this weekend, a lot of coverage. So I had child. 
I am ready to um we gonna figure out this news tomorrow. Mm-hmm. We definitely gonna figure out this news tomorrow. However it comes, it it you know, we'll we'll figure it out. Right, we'll cross that road. Like we did with <laughs> Slam and it happened, who knows? Um, but I will be traveling, so safe travels, send me, you know, mm-hmm. safe travels, you guys. I will be on the road from Newport, Kentucky. Leaving, I had honest. I can't wait to. I, I'm gonna save it for Thursday, but I really can't wait for you guys to see uh, just what's like. So May Day is gonna show on Thursday, right? You said what? Is May Day showing on Thursday or? Yeah. So yeah, oh. you'll get to see uh, for all my Impact Insiders, Impact Plus. You guys will be the first to know who. The next challenger is for Josh Alexander's Impact World mm-hmm. Championship. And it's not, it's not who you expect. And I think people are going to be pissed. Like, oh, I, cool. I don't think, I don't think people are seeing this from, I mean, maybe they are because this man, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it, but it's. It has a lot to do with not necessarily full circle with Josh, mm-hmm. but I'm just gonna say full circle with. Because if I say this, I feel like you're gonna think of who you. I feel like you're gonna think you know who it is if mm-hmm. I say this here. But let's just say that this slam anniversary mm-hmm. is his like double back mm-hmm. to. To the importance he's had in his luxurious career mm-hmm. in wrestling and specifically in impact wrestling. And it's not, it's not who you're thinking. It's gonna like, it's, I mean, I'm gonna tell you, I'm obviously gonna tell you, but it's gonna throw you the fuck. <laughs> like, it's gonna, oh it's not, and, and the match, like, honest to God, y'all, that gauntlet match went. Dumb, like y'all are not going to even from from literally the final, literally. I'm not kidding y'all. From the yeah. final three competitors, y'all are not y'all are not. It could have went any way, and it went the way that no one mm-hmm. was expecting. Nobody, like I don't know if I want you to tell me or if I want to read. I don't think you're gonna like when I tell you you're not gonna care that like you're oh, not okay. you're, <laughs> you're not know, even gonna might, care. I might care a little bit. Like you're not even gonna care. <laughs> I might care a little bit. I might care a little bit. Please. Um I didn't ask. I didn't ask for guesses. No, please. Okay. Um, but well, it is what it is. You guys definitely check out Impact because we'll definitely be here. Uh, I think you can tell about her, tell her experience of actually being there and seeing all of this in person uh, when all the the uh, in crowd brawl that she was about to have too. Yeah, but, um, oh yeah! Oh wow! <laughs> it almost turned into GCW. Uh, the women did have a six woman tag match too that will be announced. There's complete footage of that that will be posted. Make sure you mm-hmm. check out all of the moments last night from Under Siege that we had. Uh, we had Havoc. Uh, and shout out to Havoc because she ran up to me tonight at the show and gave me a hug and asked me, did I have fun? And I think she oh, ran up. Yeah, she was super dope, super fun. Rosemary told her not to talk to me <laughs> because I was messing with them at the show because mm-hmm. Rosemary kept freaking laughing. But they were super sweet. And I have footage from uh, Tasha Seals and Havoc. We have mm-hmm. footage from Ty Vaccari and Deanna Perrazzo, of course. We also have Mia Yim returning footage. And then there's something else that I missed. Oh, Madison Rain and uh, her match with Giselle Shaw. Uh, they put on a banger. And then we'll have the six woman tag match in the mm-hmm. reel, ready to go um, for you. You know, whenever they decide to get the six woman tag. Mm-hmm. With that said, I believe you have to wait maybe the following week. Next week. I think you may have to wait wow. next week because that big me and him return. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh God. She has, she made it be known without words who she's going after. 
So you'll get a clear conscious of the next moves, uh, a clear conscious of a, of the next moves of Miriam. And it's very, very interesting who decides to involve themselves in introducing Miriam back. Mm. Y'all, hey, child, listen, Backlash was born. I ain't gonna lie. But the the, the stuff that's going on at Impact, it's, mm. yeah, yikes. So, yeah. So I'm, sure start, I'm gonna start getting a Nikki Trunk and whatever she says she's going to Impact. So I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna get a Nikki Trunk for I'm now. I'm gonna the slam anniversary. I've already said it. Well, I, I'll, I'll be at some anniversaries. I will be. Yeah. Yeah, Full of faith. Um, Child. All right. All right. We're going to go ahead and get on out of here before we keep you out here for another 30 minutes. And we ain't trying to do that. We're not trying to have the longest uh, <laughs> boat show ever because we can go on and on. But we're going to go ahead and get on out of here. Uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we'll see you guys back tomorrow for Monday Night Raw. And remember, this is Women's Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. Women Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet.